Hi there, it's Alan here. I'm back in my electronics cave. I'm currently working on a tricky little project for, for somebody who I met through Pinkfish Media online. They want to use one of my USB to, uh, to SPDIF converter boxes, but they want to use it with the DCS Rossini digital to analog converter. Now, the DCS Rossini is a 30,000 quid piece of kit, so understandably, they're not terribly willing to loan me that for any period of time. So what I've done is I've had to create a, um, a, an output or a device that effectively simulates the output from the DCS, which is a word clock output. So it's an output at 44.1 kilohertz that goes into the clock lock input of my USB to SPDIF converter box and allows it to clock lock. Now, the problem is that actually, it wasn't quite as simple as I'd hoped because the output from the DCS is not a fixed 44.1 kilohertz. It might be 44.1 kilohertz, it might be 48 kilohertz, it might be 192 kilohertz. It depends exactly what it is that it's receiving on its digital input and it switches between them. It always uses its own internal, internal clock to generate a really high quality clock signal so I want to lock onto that but it might be different. And the problem is I was finding I was chasing my tail because my USB to SB diff converter was locking onto that signal, outputting something, which was then causing the DCS to lock onto something different and output that. So I've had to get a bit creative. And what I've done here is I've designed this so that when you first start playing music, it uses the internal crystals, very high quality crystals within my box here. And then after a few seconds, it switches over to the internal clock, or sorry, to the external clock, which is coming from the DCS, in this case, simulated by this little piece of test kit I've knocked together. So what you should see is that when I start playing music, after a few seconds, that blue light will come on, telling you that it's immediately then switched switched over to the to the external clock circuit. So let's see what happens. You can hope if you hear a bit of the fray there playing in the background. And after a few seconds the blue light comes on and you notice not a single glitch. It just keeps playing perfectly. So fingers crossed I think this is working quite well. Next step is to try it on the DCS. <laughs> 